This sleepless nights keep coming out like somebody is having sleepless nights after they had them found out the truth. Yeah. Wow. Yes, I take all of this. So we have sleepless nights. Scorpio. Regret. Growth. Truth. Divine connection. Capricorn. Doesn't want to work. Warning. They want to have you stuck. They're trying to use children. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to. This could be someone that you have detached from. It could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy. Past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what does not. Somebody is experiencing some type of sleepless nights. You could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn. This person could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn. And um, this person is in regret. They're in regret because of your growth. They're in regret because somebody spoke the truth. Or you spoke the truth. They found out the truth. Yeah, this person was warned. Whatever they did, as they... um. Whoever this person is that did not want to work, they were warned as they tried to have you stuck or they wanted to have you stuck. And they were trying to use children to try to have you stuck. That person was warned. Whatever they had and did, they knew this was like a divine connection or you were in a divine connection with someone. And this is why they did what they did. They didn't expect for, you know, them to be in this regret energy, taking losses in despair, crying over spilled milk, sleepless nights. Ten of Swords is here. Yeah. Somebody feel betrayed. Whoever this person is, they feel betrayed. They feel backstabbed. And um, this was the ultimate betrayal. And they found out the truth. Yeah, the Sun card is here. They're seeing stuff for what it is. Stuff is being illuminated. Um, something that was done in the dark to cause betrayal that has been brought to the light. This person is... Um, it's like something got illuminated to this person about this divine connection. And they're in regret. They're having sleepless nights. They could have been warned before they did something or something like that. Yeah, nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody is not happy. They're not, you know. This person is, yeah. Ace of Wands is here. They're not happy because you're having a new beginning. Ace of Wands. You took action towards whatever it is you wanted out of life after they wanted you stuck. They wanted you pent down for harsh, painful endings. They're not happy. Yeah, because you still have this Ace of Wands. You have control of your own life, your new beginning. This person thought they would put some type of end to that? Yeah. They didn't want you to move forward, the cherry in the reverse. They want to have you stuck. And you would least suspect, like, why would this person want you to, why would they want you to be stuck? This person knew about some type of partnership or divine connection that you had with someone, and they wanted to keep that person stuck. So they figure if they can pin you down, have you stuck, that person wouldn't move. They know as you move forward, get on that chariot, gain truth and clarity, get in your divine calling, your divine path, that person is right behind you. If y'all share the same soul or y'all have a divine connection together. Whoever this person is, they didn't want that person to know. Two of Swords is here. Yeah, so they figure they can pin you down and they had that person stuck. Bonded, blinded, and tied up. 
Yeah, the moon card is here. This person was doing a lot of stuff in secret. Yeah, this person was blinding this person from the truth because they were playing with spell work. But they ended up getting exposed and they're not happy. This is you and this Ace of Wands energy having a new beginning. And they can't move forward. The chariot is here. The energy that they were trying to project onto you, they had them placed it on their self and they did not know. Yeah, the unknown card is here. High Priestess is here. This person did not know. This person did not want people to know that you were someone that was very spiritual. You were someone that was very gifted and talented and you're someone that's a high priestess. This person thought they were going to play spell work over you and harvest and feast on your gifts or something like that. This was just being known to everybody and um, they would be able to keep this hidden. It didn't work as they were playing in your energy. They didn't know that they were, you know, exposed their self and pinned their self down at the Ten of Swords. Cursed and hacks. Whoever this energy is. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person could not distract you or slow you down. It did not work. They had to slow their self down and did not know. Whoever this person is is a karmic as all these cards are popping out in the reverse. Yeah, they couldn't slow your success down. Six of Wands is here. It's like you're at the Six of Wands having victory and success. You're someone that's held in high honor. A lot of people respect you. They look up to you. You could be, um, this could be a business that you have or a platform or something that's well known that you do. And it's publicly. And you're having victory and success. And this person could not distract you or, you know, try to throw forks in the road. To try to create blockages for you to have you stuck. It did not work. Yeah, tower is here. This person is sitting back going through a tower moment because you're someone that's at the Six of Wands. This person thought that they would be at the Six of Wands and you would be at the Ten of Swords. As they're sitting back at the Ten of Swords. Pit, they pit their self down for harsh, painful injuries as they haven't been blinded, playing with stuff they know nothing about. Two of Swords and the Moon card is here. Yeah, they're sitting back dealing with a tower moment, going through an overflow of bad choices for whatever they had and did. They didn't know they were placing the spell work over their self and the people that they're attached to. Yeah, King of Wands is here. Yeah. <laughs> this is sad. I'm like, who is this King of Wands? And then the Emperor popped out. Whoever this person is, this is the person that you're in the divine connection with. They knew this person, um, King of Wands, would had wanted to come towards you, had passion for you, attraction towards you. And they were placing spell work over this person. They knew this was your emperor. They knew this was your twin or a divine soulmate or something like that. And they figured if they pin you down, have you stuck, this person would be able to move forward. You wouldn't be able to get on that um, chariot on your divine calling, your divine path. This person did not know the energy that they were. This is done. Yeah, they didn't want this person to come towards you. They didn't want this person to have victory and success. They didn't want this person to be in this boss energy, to have control over their self, this emperor. Yeah, they want to keep this person in this king of wands energy. This is someone that um, needed to get spiritually awake. This is someone that needed to have confidence in order to move forward, in order to lead their own energy. They didn't want that person to have victory and success. They knew if this person came towards you in this king of wands energy, they would turn into this emperor. And they would be at the six of wands having victory and success. Not with them, but with you. The divine um, person that they're supposed to be with. Yeah. Yeah, Queen of Swords is here. It's like you spoke the truth to this person. This was somebody that they needed to cut off. Yeah. You spoke the truth to this person, Queen of Swords, and you started building on whatever it is that you want on the life. Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah, and working hard. Yeah, focusing on yourself. Whoever this person is, this is somebody that they, that they needed to cut off Queen of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. They were investing in this person or giving to this person, and they weren't getting anything back. Yeah, this was a Knight of Wands energy. This person came to them and this energy as if they were speaking the truth. They knew this or they knew that. They were intelligent or something like that. I had to blind this person from the truth quick. I had to betray this person, backstab this person, and pent them down for harsh, painful endings. Yeah. Because it's like you and this person both have a divine connection. You, you and this person both were in karmic soul contracts with different people. You hadn't walked away from that. 
And that's why you're at the Six of Wands having victory and success. So whatever this person was throwing at you and that old energy, you hadn't already completed a cycle of having claws. This person that you're in a divine connection with that was attached to this person, they hadn't completed that cycle. So everything was, you know, being sunk to them and they didn't know as they were attached to this negative energy. And they haven't pent this person out the Ten of Swords and they did not know. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is here. You chose to work on yourself. Eight of Pentacles is here. Yeah. And then the Temperance is here. Yeah. You chose to work, work on yourself, balance yourself out, balance out masculine and feminine energy, keep yourself grounded. Different things like that. You're someone that's very peaceful. Yeah. You chose to work on yourself, be patient with yourself. You weren't trying to sit up and trying to one-up this person or try to do this and that to betray this person or that person to get to this Six of Wands energy. It's like you move at your own pace because you're someone that's very patient. You don't have to walk in negativity. Yeah, that's why they're, at the, that, that's why they're in regret as you're at the Six of Wands. They're not happy because you have a new beginning and they don't. Yeah, Three of Cups and Three of Pentacles is here. And then Knight of Swords. It's like Three of Cups is here. Three of Pentacles is here. <laughs> wow. Whoever this person is that they try to um, have stuck. This is the person that's in regret and experience a sleepless night. They just want to come in quick. Knight of Swords. Dash towards you. They want to reconnect with you. Three of Cups. And then Three of Pentacles. Collaborate with you. Because they know about this destiny. They know about this will of fortune. Yeah, uh, this person wants to come towards you quick to try to reconnect with you. Three of Cups is here. Of course, that have been betrayed. Because they were not woke. Yeah, this person could have been an energy where they weren't even, you know, thinking that they needed to complete a cycle out. As they were blinded from the truth. Yeah. It's like as you've been, if you, if you have been stuck in a cycle for so long, it's like a never-ending cycle. You get accustomed to going through the same thing over and over again and getting the same results and constantly trying to figure out how you're going to get up out of it. How are you going to move forward? Yeah. And this is the energy that this person was in. They didn't know that illusions was being placed over them. And they were keeping their self stuck by choosing, by choice, to stay attached to different people. It's like this person needed to do the work on their self. They needed to balance their self out, ground their self out. They didn't know. This person had been stuck in a never-ending cycle for so long. But it's like once you hadn't got woke and you moved forward, you took action towards whatever it is you wanted out of life and started a new beginning for yourself. Yeah. You spoke the truth to this person and started investing in yourself and this Knight of Wands energy. They got pissed off. And man, it's like this person could have been in a Knight of Wands energy when you spoke the truth to them. Yeah. And they didn't understand why they were at the cherry in reverse. Why they couldn't move forward. They needed to heal. They needed to cleanse. This person needed to get woke. They needed to balance their self out. Yeah, the hangman. See, this person got stuck in some type of situation and that's why they could not come towards you. Yeah, they were attached to this energy. Yeah, four of cups is here. This person was just sitting back stuck, feeling rejected. Feeling insecure because they were attached to somebody that wanted to have them stuck, felt rejected, felt insecure because everything was rejected that they were doing behind the scenes. They didn't know if they were placing it on their self and they were stuck. This is sad. <laughs> stuck in the hangman energy, watching everything be rejected and watching you in this strength car energy. I they were throwing so much stuff at you and they just watching you grow. This is sad. This is just sad and it just, ugh. This is sad. It's all <laughs> Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card is here. They sat back and watched you grow after, after they had been trying to send so much to you to try to have you stuck. Because they wanted that person stuck. And they knew if you move forward, you start walking on your path, that person would because y'all share the same soul. You're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You start focusing on yourself, focusing on your future, your finances, things like that. You done went from the Seven of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. After you was at the Queen of Swords speaking the truth to this person, which is your divine partner. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Wands is here. 
You were in this Queen of Wands energy when you spoke the truth to this person. You hadn't just got woke. Yeah, and that's when everything backfires. Seven of Wands is here. It's like this person needed to block different people off. It's like this person had been blocked off from you ever since you hadn't got woke. This person could have ghosted you or something like that or blocked you or you blocked that person. Something like they felt blocked off from you. Yeah. Yeah, because you hadn't spoke the truth to this person, Ace of Swords. This person felt blocked off from you ever since you had not got woke. Well, they couldn't come around you. They didn't know why they ghosted you. Different things like that. It's because they were attached to the energy that was sitting back trying to ten of swords you and this person. Because y'all have a divine connection. And they wanted to have that person stuck. Thought that they would have you stuck. Thought that they were going to use children. Different stuff like that because they did not want to work. These are people that were warned. And now they're just sitting back watching your growth. In regret. Having sleepless nights. Yeah, King of Swords is here. Yeah, you spoke the truth to this person. As you were in this Queen of Swords energy, you hadn't got highly intelligent. You could have, you know, um, expand your consciousness and your awareness of what was going on around you. Different stuff like that. You spoke the truth, so this person could get in this King of Swords energy. Expand their consciousness and their awareness. So they can cut off things that no longer serve purpose in their life or around them. Yeah. Two of Cups is here. And then the death card is here. Yeah, it's like these people were literally... <laughs> yeah, because you and this person had to both go through a transformation before even working together, partnering up with each other, exchanging cups. Y'all had to both go through a transformation way before y'all could partner up, work together, or exchange cups with each other. Yeah. Because y'all have a divine connection, y'all both have soul contracts with different karmics. Y'all were in karmic cycles with different people and y'all didn't know. Yeah, Page of Cups is here. And then the Eight of Swords is here. Yeah. And then Five of Pentacles is here. So, yeah, it's like somebody wants to apologize to you. They ended up going to jail or something like that. It's like this person wants to apologize. Page of Cups. This person could be wrapped up in a situation or something like that with this Eight of Swords. Yeah, these are people that thought if they the pages are also children. These are people that could have thought if they had you and your kids stuff, you would be at the Five of Pentacles out in the cold, not having anything. These are people that could have thought you were on welfare or I can't even say it. Welfare, is that how it is? I mean, what it's called? welfare or something like that or depending on the state for some money yeah and they thought if they did something to have your kids stuck you wouldn't be able to have anything and you would be getting put out your house or something like that it did not work you're someone that's a boss queen of pickles is here yeah these are people that do not want to work it's like you have a whole ten of pinnacles and you're in this musician energy Make it make sense. These are people that are very low vibrational, physically, mentally, and spiritually lost, out in the cold, soulless. They don't know the knowledge about anything. They just pick up stuff and start playing with stuff they know nothing about and thinking that they're going to manifest. As they were in this energy thinking that they were going to manifest, it burdened them and weighed them down. Ten of Wands is here. Whatever they were trying to throw in your face and on your back that you could not weigh, they're weighed down. They're carrying those burdens and don't even know. Equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is here. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold. Good or bad. Universe got to be balanced out. The energy that you walk in, it has to be balanced out. But these are people that are, you know, they don't have an intuition. They don't have any ancestors talking to them. All they have is negativity around them. And that's what they, that's what they draw to them. King of Cups is here. And then nine of ones, like this person is nervous. Whoever this king of cups is, they're sitting back nervous. Yeah, they have to through the same thing over and over again. Getting the same results, not getting anything out of it. They wanted this person to guard their self from you. Wanted you to guard yourself from this person. Because this person was not woke. Yeah, they weren't using their intuition. 
Four of Wands is here. Yeah, it's because they knew that you and this person were twins or y'all were supposed to partner up. Y'all had a divine connection together. These were karmics that were placed around this person that they had karmic contracts with. Cycles they needed to complete and end out. Yeah, before even coming towards you. That, that's why these people were showing their self for who they were and betrayed this person. Trying to stop this person and block this person from coming towards you. Trying to uh, make up or re re uh, create fake receipts or something on you to make you look bad. This is sad. <laughs> All because you haven't spoke the truth. Eight of Wands is here. Yeah, you exposed these people. These people got exposed quick. And five of Wands, they start, as soon as these people got exposed, they start trying to send conflict to you, chaos to you, secretly wanting to one-up you, secretly copying you, trying to compete with you. And they know they have to all this conflict to their self. This is how out in the cold they are. They, they can't hear their intuition. It's gone. They're so, I'm done. Yeah, they're at the three of swords, heartbroken, stressed out, depressed, unhappy about what, whatever decisions they made because it backfired, it did not work. You're divinely protected. Yeah. As soon as you chose to get on the right path and you were, you know, headed towards the right direction, the fool card is here. Yeah. And you did not look back. Yeah, this person at the Five of Cups in regret and they cannot sleep. They're having sleepless nights. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is here. Yeah, and it's like this person has been trying to hold on to you because they know you and them share the same soul. The world is here. Yeah, this person needed to complete a cycle out with people that were at the Seven of Swords being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. <laughs> these people set the seven of swords trying to be sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes set some stuff up and you are in a whole other cycle meditating and they did not know yeah this is sad when they was at the seven of swords you were already in another cycle and they didn't know because they don't have no intuition their chakras are gone they're not even in control I'm done they're not even in control of the energy that they walk in you hadn't already been gone six of swords is here you haven't sailed away from things that no longer serve purpose in your life. And you chose to love yourself. Ace of Cups is here. You could have been the type of person that always showed love to everybody else and you didn't never get it back. And you started pouring out love to yourself. Focusing on whatever it is that you want out of life. Focusing on your kids if you have kids. Things like that. Yes, you've always been, you know, someone that's very loyal, very nurturing, very giving, very kind hearted. But you hadn't been betrayed. That's why you had to complete a cycle out. Yeah, and walk away. Eight of cups from toxic people, toxic patterns, and toxic situations. No longer in a confused mindset. Walking away to fulfill your destiny and your purpose here on earth. Yeah, because these are people that were, were sent here to have you at a stalemate. Not knowing which direction to take. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. And then four of swords is here. Yeah. And then the empress is here. Page of swords. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, this is something serious. This person, it's like this person found out that they feel betrayed because they found out the truth. They could have been warned before they found out the truth that you were their soulmate or you were their twin. Yeah, they had, they could have been warned as they were in isolation or in solitude away from you. Now all this part, they can't get you out of their mind. All they're thinking about is connecting with you. The Empress, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, getting away with you, the Lovers and Page of Swords. That's it. That's all this person is thinking about. Yeah, they're nervous. Yeah, this part, I'm done. Queen of Cups in the reverse and then uh, King of Pentacles upright. This person is realizing that they were attached to someone that manipulated them, emotionally tried to control them, emotionally tried to manipulate them just for finances. Just because they wanted some type of financial gain because they did not want to work. You could have been attached to that same type of energy and you had to complete that cycle out. Your person needed to complete this cycle out. 
whoever this person is, this person don't even take care of their kids. They don't love nobody or they don't love their self. This person don't even take care of their self. Yeah, and they're, they're mentally unstable, mentally unbalanced. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. And then Page of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to communicate with you because they want to start over with you. Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they look at you as their ultimate happiness. Ten of Cups. Yeah, they want to communicate with you because you're in this Ace of Pentacles energy. Someone that's very abundant. Yeah, grief is here. I understand that losing someone is an opportunity to appreciate it. So this person had been grieving, taking losses as they were attached to this person. Yeah. And they were working hard. King of Pentacles. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So this person realized why they went through lessons. They were being challenged so they could move forward. So they could learn those lessons and get on their divine path. Yeah, friendship is here. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So they realize why you were a friend to this person and you spoke the truth to this person. Yeah, indecision is here. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Yeah, this person was blinded from the truth, but they needed to use their intuition. They weren't using their own intuition. They were being manipulated and tricked, backstabbed, and they did not know. Yeah, failure is here. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So they've made some mistakes and they feel, they feel like that was an opportunity for them to learn lessons. Because they could have thought that they were a failure. Other people that try to send stuff to you and it backfired and it failed, they're learning lessons too. 